<laughs> Bam! Oh my god. We could be talking a mother fortune. It's time to look at my art locker. I'm hoping this one's the masterpiece. <laughs> I was thinking like father, like son. This is what made me go on the locker. All kidding aside, Brandon, these things are probably an easy, easy hundred bucks a piece. Whoa, look at these, dude. Remember these? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh my God. Look on the bottom of the feet and tell me what date it is. 1980. Yes! <laughs> dude, we don't have one, we have two. About 1,500 bucks a piece right here. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at look. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that, dude. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Woo. Frank Gutierrez. If, if, if this is a real Frank Gutierrez, this thing could be worth thousands. Look, at it's a heart at the top. I know. With a woman's arms holding two babies over bluebirds in a nest. In a ring of fire. In a... <laughs> All signed by the artist, everything. All hand -crafted. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that one's a gesture. God. This is art. Brandon, I'm looking in this locker right now, and I see literally another 100 paintings. Finding boxes and boxes of this guy's art. This is absolutely frapping beautiful. Holy <laughs> That's a real painting. We got to get these looked up. Chalk one up for Team Tank Top. I was right. There's hundreds of Frank Gutierrez paintings. So I called an expert to come check them out. Well, it absolutely is Frank Gutierrez. He's a very important artist of a piece of Chicano history. So Kathleen, is this stuff worth anything? Well, because they've been in storage, there's a little damage here and there. But considering the amount of work that I see all around this room, I would say that you have maybe about 300,000. Congratulations. Hold on just a minute. $300,000? Bam! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. I took a gamble on this art locker. Hopefully, it'll paint a pretty picture. When you use grandma's crochets to wrap your art, your art might be pretty good. Yeah. Yep, this is an advertising poster right here. Look at this work. That is absolutely bitching. That's a $100 bill. Some kind of print. I want to see that. Set it right here. Oh, yeah. Holy, yeah, Western scene. And they're oh, signed. Oh, yeah, baby. Looks like they're signed in pencil. If we've got 50 prints with signatures, we could be talking a mother fortune. Once again, we got a buttload of art. Don't touch them with your hands. You never know where you're gonna hit. Anything, any place, at any time, anywhere. This looks like this could be it. Hi. We're taking our art print to Out West Boutique to see if it's our meal ticket. Oh, this is lovely. Really, really lovely. This piece is called Riding the Chuck Line. Wayne Breyers started his career in art as an illustrator. He was a master of Western art. Part of why he's so popular with his fan base is because of the details and the hat design, the, the shading on the shirt, coming on down to his shop is all very authentically done. Do you see the little tiny snow bunny eating carrots? Where is that? Neither do you I. Have a very, I guess you have a very good eye. But the bottom line is there's 50 pieces here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a whole oh, run of okay. them, yeah. And they're numbered 51 through 100. What's it worth? What's it worth? That big question everybody wants yeah. to know, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> OK, so all together, for all 50 prints signed by the artist, you have a total of 20,500. <laughs> 20 grand. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Congratulations, that's really fun. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you very much. Thank it's you a very pleasure much, Bobby. You. Thank you. And happy trails. Let's see what's going on. I was excited to get this one. Ooh, looks like we got a type of jewelry box or something here going on. 
Oh yeah, look at these. It's Russian crystal, actually. These say Fabergé. These are probably worth a hundred bucks a piece right here. Nice find. Oh, Lalik, are you kidding me? Oh, let this be in here. Lalik is from Paris. It's a really high-end crystal. I haven't gotten Lalik in years. Yes! Art Nouveau Lalik vase. We're talking probably, just for this glass vase, 1,200 bucks. Look at this, just all, oh, another Lalik. Oh yeah, look at that. 500, another Lalik. <laughs> Princess baby vase. 1,200 bucks right here. Just what's left in this box alone, all this Neiman Marcus, all the antique, everything, there's probably another 1,000 bucks. Oh, what is, oh, ho, ho. are you kidding me? Freaking antique guitar pedals and processors and all that stuff. Some of these little electronic stuff to these guitars are worth a fortune. And I know just the guy to take this stuff to. You know what? I'll guarantee you there's another $3,000 in stuff in here, no problem. All right, well, here it is, Joe. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, Have hey, a seat. A... Let's talk about your pedals. Let's um, do it. This, it's a stage tuner, keeps you in tune. Okay. The MXR line driver, noise gate. Basically, this is used if you have a noisy amp or anything that's giving you noise issues. It makes your sound guy like you a little bit more, or make your producer not yell. What it's year gonna... would that be? Is it's... that old? I, yeah, I would say this is probably from about 1980. That scares me that you think they... that's old. <laughs> Um, this one's actually worth a, a fair amount, this Boss OD1. It's probably from the same era, early 80s. Trick with these, you want them to say made in Japan. That's their golden era. Okay. Um, the newer ones would say made in Taiwan. What's that one say? Made in Japan. Um, ah. I would say it's good enough to, to stomp on. Remember, these things by design are kicked. On a one to 10 scale, this is a solid seven or eight. So it's they're pretty good, you know? Okay. Um, this TC device is really nice. So I couldn't it, even begin to tell you what that thing is. What it is is it's an echo unit. So it, it makes you sound like you're uh, in a... Hey, a, hey, yeah, hey, e hey, Exactly. Very advanced for its time. Now, you know, you have more options on your iPhone than you do with this. <laughs> yeah. But back when this came out, it was really far reaching. The main question is, what are they worth? This you want to give to a kid that you like who needs a stage tuner, because that's worth about $20. Uh, so the kids smile. Yeah. This being early 80s would probably bring $75. Um, this one is, you probably, if you find the right guy who really had to have one, $150. And this is the money. It's not in the greatest condition, but I would say, um, $1,000. That's good. I'm shocked. I love it. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world.